So it's halftime. Uh, I think I kind of need to go to the blue concussion tent because I feel like I've got a head injury from some of the football I've watched today. Well, I won some money today, Andy, so I'm in a great mood. Um, but uh, what is what what in the world is happening here? What is this? Why did the Giants do that? Why are they? Why is this only six nothing? Uh, are the Bills going to score? Are the Bills playing? Uh, what in the world uh, is going on? Yeah, if you and yeah, that's the thing. It is to I can I cannot. My God, I'm remember. seeing the replay now. Dable, you got to yeah. be shitting me, man. What what are we I doing? Not recall a halftime show that started after 9 p.m. Central Time. Like, obviously, we had, you know, we had a bad injury and we had to get an ambulance out on the field. But, like, it's crazy. It wasn't just that. This this fucking half just drug on. Obviously, huge gap. Dable is full on Tom Dude. Coughlin red. He's screaming. <laughs> he at is Tom Coughlin red. <laughs> to, to, I, guess I haven't to, seen that Toronto color Audible. redded since Tom Coughlin. All right. But, yeah, let, let's talk about the good. Teasers, if you, if you stuck to the guns and just played the Wongs, all those plus two and a halfs were solid. At ba- basically everything. The Bears snuck in the back door. The Texans won outright. The Washington Commanders won outright. The Patriots, despite their best efforts, <clears throat> covered <laughs> covered their teaser as well. I feel like there's one more that's going to be on. Oh, the, the Chargers obviously haven't played yet. Like that. That's that's yeah. the the other teaser. Like, what was the fifth one? Well, oh, there Seattle's. were people that got that people that uh, got a uh, Seattle price. There were people that got a San Francisco Se- price yeah, too. Yeah, Seattle two and a half. Seattle two and a half was. But I, I tend to just do Wong's on Sunday. Like I, I I know it's probably counterintuitive, but I want the market at its at its finished price, I guess. And um, Seattle just, Seattle plus two and a half wasn't yeah. in any of mine, but that one would have cashed too if you did take it. And yes, I know the the Niners at seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, all those prices. That was a it took a lot, but uh Purdy is our new golf. Not great in weather. That ball slipping out of his hand was seriously like yakety sacks funny. Let's talk about I will tell you real game. quick, yeah. Golf. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We got some questions about magic magic purdy because he's now fumbled directly in front of tj watt and managed to recover it and directly in front of miles garrett and managed to recover it uh which are kind of feels Magnet black magic um, what, what do you what do you make of this game though drew because Allen hasn't been great I, I, giants have driven I'm, the ball i'm seeing i'm seeing the floor man i don't I, know I don't what i'm take. seeing i don't know what i'm watching don't know what this is. I thought that this was going to open seven and a half. It's nine and a half. So I guess gut says that it's giants, but I don't love it. You should just go giants money line, whatever that huge price is. Yeah, there, there's not, there's not a strong, can you do a second half teaser? <clears throat> you can, there's alt lines. You can make your own and pay whatever the hell you want. But what do um, you really think? What? Well, yeah. What do you really think? All right, let's take a look at some stats here. My my uh, my numbers in the blind before we saw the market were Giants seven and a half and twenty. So I'm a hair to the over, and I'm a hair to the Giants. I assumed a number around twenty for the second half, and I really didn't want to touch it one way or the other because these teams have moved the ball. We've just had uh, two two Bills drives that went for like what. One went for 29 yards. They were moving interception. The other one went for 40, ended on a fumble. They had a, a basically a 40 yard drive that went for a punt. Um, the missed field goal was a decent enough drive. Like the Bills are just obviously not finishing drives. Turning the ball over has been bad. The tip ball interception, but not 100% Josh's fault, but he's kind of been a little loose with it. Like our, our friend Hector called that one in the chats. He's like, he's going to throw a pick here soon. And that wasn't maybe the one we expected, but it was coming one way or the other. He's been loose with the ball. Um, the team stats right now, where do we got it? It is 143 to 142, the yardage, six drives apiece, eight and nine, um, eight and nine first downs for the teams, Giants and Bills, respectively. Five of 10 on third down for 
the Giants one of five for Buffalo. That's probably the big difference. Obviously, the massive difference is the 2-0 turnover differential. And I don't know, it's just been kind of ugly, ugly all over the place. The Giants lose another offensive lineman. I thought a Dory Jackson might be out a little bit because that was a neck thing, but he is back in. The Giants team total in the second half is six. <laughs> Isn't that just like a that's that's where you grab the cheese and the trap snaps in your hand, but you might do it anyway. Giants yeah, get the ball first. Survivor, Survivor <laughs> League got is about to get interesting. Wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It already is this week. Yeah. Um this is a wild one, man. Giants get the ball first. There's not a lot of team totals you can catch on the first drive. But you're riding with Tarad at that point. Tarad, who legitimately just made Dable so angry he might murder him in the locker room. Yeah, I was going to check who was <laughs> who's third on that depth chart. Do they have a, do they have a third? <laughs> Um, the New York Giants, if they had, yeah, to my, he, yeah, Tarot, right, going to be rolled out for the Tommy second Dula. half with a concussion. Like I didn't see him get his head hit. What? What? Yeah. what? Dable punch. He's a broken nose. Dable oh. punched him. Um, it would be <laughs> Danny DeVito, Tommy DeVito. Sorry. Um, all right. Um, so I didn't have on. any. I didn't. I mean, the over is getting blasted, man. This is 21 and a half now at Chris. Uh, it's juiced to the under 21 and a half. You want to take under 21 and a half and laugh as the Bills win 21-6? Yeah, I, I, I don't think we're going to keep our winning streak going here because this is a tough. This I is a have tough no one. fucking This is basically raid. like the, the real advice here is don't bet the second half, guys. Find a prop you like, but we always come up. The with total has moved across my fair. You're paying a little extra, but it's still 21 and a half. You want to do it? Yeah, let's take a little under. All right, under. Under 21 and a half. Let go. <laughs> Tarad did not get stabbed in the heart, you guys. He got stabbed it was in the, the lung. lung. Totally different. It was organ. the lung. Come on. Completely different organ. Accuracy. Please. I was uh we're in a time of misinformation on the internet, guys. Please. I I was I almost did a tweet that I had to I stopped and didn't send it because <clears throat> I worry about that sort of thing too. But I was gonna do the Twitter doctor thing because the Twitter doctor thing annoys the shit out of me. Sure. Where they, they're like, <laughs> Oh, hey, here's what I saw from hmm. my yeah. you know, my 32 My ankle sprain three weeks in my condo. Here's nine things it might be. <laughs> It's like, and then, and then later it's like, oh, you know, I, I wondered about this, if it might've been this is the one thing that they missed. So I was going to, I was going to do the Twitter doctor thing and says, Jimmy G in, in the ambulance holding back. This can either be a, uh, a strained lower back or a ruptured organ. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried because you get hit awful hard. And I mean, we've seen this could, be, this could be muscle spasms or ruptured spleen. Yeah, that's I was gonna basically write that. And then I'm like, fuck. What if what if I get like my next message from like fantasy life is like Jimmy is in emergency surgery for oh, you know, a ruptured feel, organ. That doesn't like, feel oh. good. Yeah, that doesn't feel like, good. I'm like, I can't I can't send it. So it does sound it does sound like that was precautionary for Jimmy. Although that was oh, it's never God. good when you hear like, hey, he walked right to the ambulance and left. It's like, oh hey. shit. Uh Dan brings up the Giants have not scored a first half touchdown on offense this season. It's week six. I think this is the first game the Giants have had a positive net score all season. And they're up six nothing. I don't think they've been in a positive game state for one minute this entire season until this game where they got that field goal first. Look at this. Oh, I, I thought this was an Asian handicap for a second, uh, saying he bet like six and a half and seven no, on no, the pl- team total. I no, read it he, wrong. It's a money yeah. line. He's giving me yeah. decimal. Yeah, lines. he's got plus plus five seventy five. Julian, uh, our guy, food snob frog, in general. 
killing it in the uh, Circa Millions. Uh, I know that because I put his picks in and he's killing it. Um, the Browns today, man. Got a lot of thoughts on the Browns. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to all the games. Let's, uh, there let's was, wrap this like up. Three let's, let's, games. Let's, let's, let's call this. I have nothing else to say about this game. Like, literally, mm-hmm. fuck this game into oblivion. Um, I There's do like not. There's like five of those today. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Seriously. There were like five where the box score, if you looked at it, you would definitely flip the scores. Yeah. It's like, oh, what happened here? Like, yeah. mm, Washington, you, yeah. you, won this, Dude, you won this game, huh? For like the third week in a row, we've had four or five absolutely just mega cursed overs. Like, just there's no excuse for this game not going over. But here we Basically, are. Basically, it's every Titans game. <laughs> every Titans game. I bet, was... oh, I bet the over on two of the three of the Titans games <laughs> that absolutely should have gone over. That got not. middled. So that yeah. was, a, that was that like a 39 middled. and a half. Early, early in the week. Early, 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 early. And yeah, yeah they. No. We'll, we'll get to it. Let's let's start right. with that. Let's do the intro. All right, we're moving into a podcast here. This in will be recorded three, and sent out tomorrow. Two, one. Welcome to the deep dive. Week six, mostly in the books. It was a week that if you watched a lot of football, you might need to consult your doctor to see if you have brain damage uh, because there was some very stupid things that happened, not just uh, in terms of like, how did that team lose to that team? Uh, but yeah. why did that coach do that stupid thing? <laughs> and how did why, that total why did the Patriots not get not over? Cover? <laughs> how, how did the, how, wait, that Patriots didn't cover? How? Like, there is a lot of that across the board this week. Uh, if you won money, like I won money this week, it was another... Dude, by the way, like, I almost don't even want to say this out loud because I don't want to fucking jinx it. But we are six weeks into the season. I've won every week so far in the NFL. Somehow, some way. I'm threading all of the needles and getting very, 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 very lucky. Uh, if you won this week, I feel like you at some level have to feel like you got lucky as well because you needed a couple of things to bounce your way. You needed the ball to bounce your way uh, to get some wins in a couple of these games this week. And it was a really tough week overall. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't really know where we go from here. I don't really know that I have a super strong opinion about very many teams right now, other than <clears> like the Lions are going to play hard and give you an honest effort every week. <laughs> like, you got any other takes that you feel real confident in right now, Andy? <laughs> you know, and it, it's weird. It's I've had some. I've had a nice year, but it's been like different every week. Every week, it's like, oh, I just like. Uh, there were so many Wongs one week and just every combination, all the three ways and everything hit. And then it's like, Oh, just all my sides and totals were good this week. And then one week it was like, eh, it was a rough week, but I, I tailed some people on first touchdown scores and props and just like crushed on that and made up for everything else. So it's been, it's been a weird year. I think we've learned a lot about kind of how the market's trading some of these teams. It's that time of year. <clears throat> that said it was a, it was a goofy Sunday. I had some luck. I needed some luck late in a few games. I felt like I should have needed less luck in some of them, but I did get some nice wins and it's, it's nice to be vindicated on a take as well. Like I really, give me an example. I had Philly as a better team and I wanted to lay it and just watching how they play in the second half. So I'm like, I can't do this. And I'm like, should I bet their team total? I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to bet three or four in the first half. And they still tried to give that away. He had two yeah, turnovers, two bad turn like that. That first half should have never been in doubt. Two bad turnovers, and then uh, but the Eagles still did cover the three and a half. But again, vindicated by not because th- they weren't covering six and a half. That just Ooh. that was. While we're fan. on the Eagles, Derek Lutz, I had Eagles as last undefeated team. Anyone know how that gets graded? Uh, it, Where'd you bet it? Yeah, that that's that's the question. Circa, you, you, circa it's will either cash split. It. It's either a split or a win. You didn't yeah, lose. It's not a loss. No, it'll be chopped. Uh, yeah. uh, probably eighty percent of places chop it. I bet. Yeah, but that's probably. There are probably a few joints likely. that will will cash that out. So. Yeah, circa paid Philly. Yep. Um, there is a couple of places that are played based on time when it happened, when the loss happened, Do and you, some that are what week it happened. One la- one last note on uh, on the game here. Do you remember our our profit exchange market for this one? 
was Gibbs, Diggs, and Cook versus the Giants' entire offense. Yeah. I feel like the Giants are probably winning that right now. I think they are. The Giants had more yards gained than the Bills in the first half. Yeah, they uh they haven't looked terrible. Obviously, some of the some of the running has been 163 rough, to 142. Do you have anything to say on Thursday or should we jump right into London? Uh, I mean, good job by us finding a winner, I guess, right? Yeah, we did good. Yeah, I think we danced around that one for all of five seconds and then picked the no doubt correct right side, which yeah. was the under. Well, and so. you know, Barry, Barry going on about it earlier in the day didn't hurt. And then when it when it did pop over 21, it's like, well, kind of got that's, a bet. That's that. Yep. Yep. Game over. Um, all right. No other comments other than the Chiefs keep winning and everybody else kind of fiddle fucking around. Fiddle fucking <laughs> around. Um, London, London, say. London. No more London games for a while. We get the Germany no games. No more London games, period. Well, until next year. I guarantee they'll run it back. I'm sad about that. I love I've early really, games. Really, like really, so really I, enjoyed I, the early kick. I had to really go check and make it. sure. Because do you remember they did it to us a few times where they did the London game later, like during the rest of the games, which sucked. So I had to go check yes. to make sure they didn't screw at us on the two Frankfurt games. They are both nine, early like this. 9 a.m. Yep, so nine, 9.30 Eastern. Or 9 a.m. Eastern. 9.30 yep. Eastern. So they, yeah. they will start early. You get the full long day. There's two weeks in a row in... Yes. Uh, Germany, very different games. It's like KC Miami and then Indy, I think Indy Pats. Yep. So those are two different kind of offenses you can see if yep. you are in Alabama. But London, yeah, I bet the Ravens minus four early in the yep. week. I just said, fuck it, I don't care. My numbers yep. say this. They can't keep doing this. They can't keep getting away with this. And then they tried they to. They keep getting in away the, with this. In the second half, they tried to do it again. Dude. Um, a little bit, but uh, Malik Willis wasn't uh, going to be able to take advantage of that. I didn't think the game no. was kind of over at that point. No, that never even should have been close, and yet it was. Like, it was going to come down to a two-point conversion defense, whether you were going to get your cover or not. Oh, I know. I was I was sweating right off the bat this morning. I didn't God need damn. that to start the day. So many thoughts here. Um the fact that there was ever in doubt in the second half, considering how dominant Miami was in the first half is a joke. I mean, how dominant uh, Baltimore was in the first half is a joke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that the total didn't get there is uh, is laughable. If you bet the over in this game, you need to make peace with whatever evil spirit you've, got, you've done done, done dirty. <laughs> you, 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 you know, take whatever uh, or, you know first people's tribe tribal medallion you stole from some graveyard. Go put it back. <laughs> do it because it's like the is, end of a bad bad adventure there's, movie there's no excuse for that game staying under none um and i would say that uh if you back if you back the uh ravens if you lay the points with the ravens it's going to be an adventure any given week i don't know why that offense can't make things easy for you but they can't um there's still some there's still a lot of a lot of kinks to be worked out with the todd monk and ravens offense it doesn't look it just looks like the same old shit Honestly, if we're, if we're being honest, it looks like the great Roman offense. It looks like Lamar Jackson's out there doing what he wants to do. Like they're not playing into any of the strengths of their roster at all. Uh, there's still some weird drops and some weird routes. It's it's just a bizarre, it's just a bizarre vibe. <clears throat> yeah, they were, these two teams had 10 red zone possessions, eight ended in field goals you're not doesn't matter if you have 600 yards you're not getting to a total at that point yeah unless you were very early and got the 39 and a half um yeah it was sweatier than it should have been and obviously the the big thing to watch going forward will be the the health of Tannehill. Left third absolute third oh yeah that thank you for mentioning that he's probably kind of fucked uh third titans game this season that had no business staying under that stayed under um and the Baltimore Ravens, if you're evaluating their defense numerically, take a big old deep breath and look at the quarterbacks they've played so far. Yeah. They have had an entire game of Kenny Pickett with an injured knee. It might suck anyway. They've had CJ Stroud's first game as a pro. They had Joe Burrow limping around with the injured calf 
and then you've had DTR, you've had a healthy half of Malik Willis, and you had a healthy half of Gardner Minshew. Like they have played a big old scoop of no one, and, and they and they get the Detroit Lions this week. They get Goff, and it's not, it's not like Goff is not God, but he's a very above average quarterback. He's got a pulse. Compared. He's got a big old pulse. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown is healthy. Laporta played today. Like that's that's scary compared to what they have. And we'll see if there's. I don't. We we don't usually see suspensions. It'll just be a big old fine for Hamilton. But that made a difference without Hamilton. Hell yeah, it did. He, and that was one of those where it's like, I saw it, I was kind of watching. I'm like, oh, they're going to kick him out. And then you see it in slow-mo. It's like, oh, man, he did that with, like, malicious intent, it looks like. Like, he really launched. Yeah, he did. They have, they had to kick him out for that. So, yep. um, good job. We'll, we'll see what it looks like when these teams come back. Baltimore, obviously, like you just said, opted not to take the bye. Coming back from London, Tennessee did. Congrats to basically all the all – the, Numbers got there on Baltimore eventually, so good job. Yeah, uh, Washington, Atlanta. I don't have much to say here. Uh, Desmond Ritter loses his first home game as a human, apparently. Um, Washington came in with a very, very impressive neutral game state offensive game plan. They had a couple of wrinkles in their game plan that I haven't seen so far this season, and they really, really did stick it to what is, I think, a goodish defense in Atlanta. Getting to 24 was impressive by Washington. Atlanta had so many chances late to drive and Desmond Ritter made a couple of key mistakes. And I think that is about where you leave it. Uh, Otherwise Ritter comported himself as a quarterback at a professional manner outside of the, you know, the backbreaking game deciding mistakes. What did you think? (laughs) Yeah. I don't want to put it all on Ritter. He looked good at times. In fact, he looked pretty good at times. And this was, it's weird. I, I have like mixed feelings on Art Smith and Ritter because Ritter looked good at times, but then he made some oh, horrible throws, true. which are massive. And the same thing, like Art, Sm- Art Smith put together the, hey, we should throw the ball a little more today because this is a secondary we can beat the shit out of. And they did. Yeah. But then at the same time, he ran some absolutely yeah. boneheaded plays, some bad sequencing. It was shitty. And really, yeah. I, I didn't come away from this game thinking much highly of I, I'm glad Washington cashed their teaser. Yeah. I didn't expect them to be, you know, outright winning like this. But like their drives were, you know, a couple of them were pretty short. They did not win the yardage and it wasn't purely like garbage time yards. The game was within a touchdown for a pretty like the last six or seven drives. Yeah, it was. So I mean, it wasn't just like trash yards they gave up. They were given some gifts. Yeah. If you go, this is this is one like box score one of five where it's like, oh, uh, the Falcons had four hundred total yards uh, to one ninety three. They should have won. And yeah, Washington was two of ten on third down, and they won <laughs> by eight. Like it was just, it, it was a very opportunistic Washington team on the road. It was probably a, a little bit of a false win for them, but. I mean, you take it where you can get it. If the other team's going to throw you bad interceptions on slants, you take yeah. the ball, you go score. And if so, and if the other team's going to and if the other team's going to clock it, and then take a timeout, you then you're going to gift you're getting gifted that win probability. Art yeah. Art Smith literally shot himself in the dick in the in the in the two minute drill in yeah. this game. It was the most egregious uh, cell phone I've seen from a from a coach head coach in a while. Yeah. And just in well, general, and you can't you can't yeah. have both. You can't it, like a quarterback can't play and make those big mistakes when the coach is doing things like that. And the coach can't, you know, the the yeah. coach can't make mistakes if the quarterback like you, both of you them can, combined. You that's can't how, survive. That's both. how you lose. A you game can't like survive that. both. You can't survive both. No thoughts on Minnesota Chicago. If you were late and tried to get some over money down on this one, you probably feel a little what the fucked. Uh, this was bet. Un- so bet close, down. Man. This was so bet down too. because of the weather, and it was a beautiful sunny day. There was, I think, I think a fifty-five yard field goal got converted in this one. This was not a weather game. It still didn't even come close to sniffing the total. Yeah, not a lot to say on this. The thing that kept me off this by buying back on this total was the fact that the secondary was quietly kind of healthy for Chicago, and I know I think Jackson got dinged up again during the game, but they had a yeah, Eddie Jackson injured his foot again in the first quarter, but they went into the game with a lot of their pieces back for the secondary. 
And like you said, we just don't know what the Minnesota offense looked like without Jefferson. Never really seen it. Turned out it was a lot of Irv Smith and really bad running. Um, and, and really, like Minnesota, this is another one. Minnesota maybe didn't deserve to, you know, to win this game. Obviously, losing fields was rough. Um, we'll have to we'll have to take a look at that hand. It sounded like it was a dislocated finger, and they're just gotta. I think they gotta do an uh, MRI and just make sure they didn't screw anything else up. But I don't think he was gonna come back. But bad Badgent wasn't great. Uh, he he had flashes. It just wasn't. You could tell he wasn't super confident. They're down a million running backs. Like the Bears had bad luck. But I'm not gonna sit here and be like. Oh, the Vikings were so lucky they got some turnover luck. Like the Vikings are still, if you, as a whole, as an aggregate of the season, they are behind by a lot on lost EPA on turnovers. Like getting getting a, a fumble recovery like that, and you know having the other interception or the other turnover that they got, that still doesn't make up for all they went through. So this is a it was a bit of a lucky win too if you, if you look at this box score as well like Minnesota's offense was pretty piss poor yeah my my grades on Minnesota's offense is this was like extremely poor by them and the Two fact that they won in, they're down the fact they won in spite of that is uh is pretty uh pretty lucky um turnovers made a difference facing a backup quarterback made a difference I guess but backup quarterback played better than fields did fields was awful um yeah, no takeaways. Yeah. Two yeah, two completely sense. useless teams. You're doing nothing. You're you're bringing nothing to the table. Bears or no, these, these aren't these aren't going to be teams that work their way back into the playoff nope. picture. This was, we're done talking about Seattle this game. Cincy. Uh, I bet dead Cincy. I'm not so sure it was the right side. Dead nut under. Uh, dead nut under again. Um, they got a little more pressure on Burrow than I thought. And he didn't look so good. This was another team that was really bad on, uh, you know, on third down. Uh, I don't really know. I, I kind of want to rewatch this one. I didn't watch a ton of this game just because there were so many other games that I had interest on going on at this time. But, yeah, I laid the two and a half early in the week. It got bet out a little. Um, this total is back and forth, kind of never in doubt to the under as well. But mm-hmm. uh, they were good in the red zone. I'll say it. Cincinnati's defense was good in the red zone. Yeah, they were, they were good. Some, they were good. They, they, they stood, no, I thought the Cincinnati I, defense played well, period. That that was kind of my only takeaway. Is like Burrow wasn't as good as we saw in the last week, but the Cincinnati defense was tough in the red zone. Yeah, and their pass rush showed up when it needed to. They got four. They, the four sacks they had felt like four really key sacks. Like yeah. all four of them were like, we need you guys now, and they came through. That was kind of my vibe watching the game. I was nervous at four seven seven that this was going to be a track meet. Did not ever manifest, and Joe Burrow did not look especially dangerous. Jamar Chase, six for 80. Not really uh, scaring the uh, the Tyreek Hill OPOY backers. <laughs> yes, Big Lou was killer, Mike. He killed it in the second half. Yeah, yeah and this, this is another that. one, too, where like you look at the box score, Seattle big... Big, uh, whatever you want to call it, differential in yardage and a few other stats. Like a massive one. This is like game three of five that we have of these. But you go one for five in the red zone, you ain't going to win very many games. And I I do want to, you do got to give the Cincinnati defense a little credit there. But at the same time, uh, if I had to go back and bet this one again, I'm not so sure I would have taken. Cincinnati, maybe just yep. the unders. Uh, now that I know the score, cl- let's talk about Cleveland, San Francisco. PJ Walker is apology. He's in the chat right now. Uh, I got got to give credit to the guy after playing that game today, coming to the chat uh, to contribute. Like the guy is, he's he's you know he picks up his lunch pail, he puts on his hard hat, and he, he fought freaking. Body. Yeah, he just he's he's back to work. Uh and uh sorry about the teasers, guys, because PJ Walker did bust your teasers. Temple legend PJ Walker, Philip J. Walker, the Temple Owl legend. Um Tech or Houston yeah. Houston Roughneck legend. Yeah. I uh I 
won a money line play on the Cleveland Browns today that feels absolutely gross. Like I want to know about the go timing take a of shower. that. <laughs> so, I, w- I want to know the timing of that. Bet it was because, not. It was not well timed, Andy. <laughs> because we, we. So I'll give you a little look into how the sausage is made. Drew was talking to me about it, and we were we were we were having a discussion. It's like, what if you know? We 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 both thought that Watson was going to go. I was gobsmacked yeah. that Watson was even I was in question. blown away blown I away. really thought if there was a game last week he should have been able to go I was amazed so when you brought it up you know you made some cognitive cognizant points and and then like an hour later uh he was basically ruled out and you're like well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well fuck <laughs> yeah. well that didn't go well uh no, no I bet it I got the absolute worst of it my money line price by the way was plus 231. I'm thinking you could have gotten almost three to one in that game, You're right? Probably close to a little higher than that because it got out to <laughs> nine. It, it, I mean, there were it places got up to that, a big number. There's places that crested over the 10 at oh. certain points on this. Um, oh, I didn't even come close to a lot of number. bet online closed at plus 385. There, oh my god, hey, you know what? I could have gotten four to one. <laughs> don't want to get tourists in the mall. Oh. Wins a win, yuck. Yeah, um, yeah, obviously, yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. takeaways were Purdy finally had a stinker. The weather might have played into that. Obviously, uh, he didn't look comfortable in the rain. And then, like Debo and CMC, obviously matter. Did you bet? Me. Did you take the points when it got to ten? Because we talked about it, I think, at length, and like I didn't think it was going past eight and a half. Did I, you have this the almost, the I, I, no, intestinal I, I, fortitude to take the ten? Couldn't do it. I missed the ten. Okay. I'm like shit. I don't want this nine and a half. I'm like I'll just watch this I, game. I took some ten, but not enough to make me. I know, and I was talking super, to people this morning yeah. about like how how it seemed like probably the right side at home. It's a lot of points at home for anybody, uh, but yeah, ended up staying off it. Nice job, To got plus three ninety five on a square book. Trent, yeah, Trent, Debo, CMC, Dude, the injuries. The weather. I, you the injuries you put this. Kind of a bummer. You put this, I think, very well in the uh, Discord, and so I don't want to step on your toes. But uh, the blueprint, the, the blueprint's blueprint been out. written on how to beat yeah. the Niners. You just <laughs> just need it to be raining. You need to be at home. You need to be off the bye. <laughs> and you need to have injuries to three of the four best players. Um, That's it. At the, at the same time, That's like, it. you can say all that. You still have to. And you need the play. refs. And you need the refs tilted all in your. Yeah. Them. And you need it. And you need the refs to tilt the game and the field in your advantage. Yes. And then the you're good. A little then weird. you got it. Then you got it. Yeah. It was a, it was, it was a unique game to watch, though. I'll give you that. It was fun. It was um, a fun, weird game. It was. Uh, I, I okay. Uh, you want you want you want a mega have, you want a mega galaxy brain take here? I do. This is good for the Niners. Assuming that they avoid long term injuries here, like you don't want to deal do, with the they do have a you don't want to deal with the undefeated questions. Week. Yeah. So they have one extra yeah. day to see if they can get these guys healthy. Isn't it overtime? Oh, oh. It's well past overtime, guys. Yeah, we we got some fighting going on in the end zone. Yeah, they were I fighting. Mean, the third quarter fighting over. Like, there's this. This has been under fucking porn so far. <laughs> this is this has been a delight. Um, it'd be a real shame if they fumbled through the end zone. It'd be a real shame if they had first and goal from the twenty. It'd be a real bummer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> be a God, real what, bummer if that why, happened why are these teams um, so mad at each other they fighting <laughs> before the game i don't know who knows uh i will tell you this the uh the refereeing in cleveland san francisco left a lot to be desired but i felt like it was bad in both directions and so it feels well, it was, it was especially it feels all around it feels especially bad in favor of the browns and i get that especially if you had Niners at a money laden parlay or a, a teaser or whatever. Like, I get it. Um, but the Browns played a really tough game and they deserve to be in it. And they made Brock Purdy look bad. And I think that's one off. I don't think this is long term. Um, Purdy, uh, well, well, he only had one we turnover. We didn't right? even mention the one Dude, the part. Niners you know, I, I listed the, the Niners won the turnover battle. Jesus, when when PJ Walker threw that one pick at the in the that, that set that gave the Niners the go like ahead touchdown, yard. it was yeah. like it was like oh okay all right fine. I hope the Browns don't blow a ten point cover here. Like 
I had zero hope that they were going to somehow win. Um, two but uh, weird game. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Yeah, the, Whoa. Um, yeah, the Niners <laughs> are welcome to stay on my farm and practice out in my backyard if they want to. But like I mentioned, they do t- get till Monday to fly back to Minnesota to take on uh, the Vikings, see if they can get healthy. Um, and I, I forgot to mention, you know, I listed everything, Drew. I listed the injuries, the weather, the bad games from, from Purdy. I forgot to mention, and again, if I'm going to give Cincinnati credit, i got to give Cleveland credit. Like, yeah. Also, just a really good defense. Like, yeah. Oh, you had to go on the road and play one of the best defenses in the entire world off a bye. Like that's yeah. not easy for anybody. It doesn't easy. matter how good you are. No. So, all right, next game. Also, it's a road game out of conference. If you were going to lose any game in your schedule, lose that one. Yeah. It means the least. Uh, so, yeah, Niners are going to bounce back from this. And the Niners are an interesting bounce back spot Monday night next week. We'll get to that, though. Um, no strong opinion on New Orleans Houston. Did you watch any of this one? I teased Houston like for the fifth straight week, it feels like. <laughs> um, it was, a, it was another it one. Broke, where... If it ain't broke, Andy. Well, and they just keep landing at these two and a half. It's like, what am I going to do? The math says, you know, go for it. But it was another one where, like, New Orleans had a ton of yards. Um, I have a weird uh, – since, actually, you know what? We need to go back to Seattle. I had a weird note on this. They only punted once in the entire second half, and they only scored three points in that half. Like, that's goofy. That sort of stuff does yeah, they, they had two on downs, two turnovers, and like a missed field goal or something. It was it was really something. But yeah, the Saints, the Saints fucked up in the second half. Uh, Carr had 350 yards, but the turnovers and the missed field goals killed them. The defense played well enough to get you a win. You have to get an effort mm-hmm. from the offense. They didn't get enough from this offense. Uh this this took, you know, this took some Houston money and then got some buyback on New Orleans today. This over got bet. This look at was like 40, 40 and a half. It got bet up to, you know, oh, yeah. 42 and a half. Never even oh, sniffed. 100% sure what we were doing with that. But Did again, you... if, if New Orleans if New Orleans is better in the red zone, it might have gotten there. Team stats say this should have gone over, actually. Yeah. This should have gotten there. So that was a bad beat. Another bad beat to the over. It's yeah, just horrible in the red zone. Like, if again, you're playing I, I... over, yeah, if you're playing overs, you're probably ready to quit betting the NFL. You're ready to go to the headquarters and help them write a red zone game plan because that yeah. was Baltimore's issue too. They just had shitty game calls. Yeah. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars uh, beat the ever loving shit out of the Colts because Gardner and is not very good. Colts took money, man. They did. This is, uh, this is a I didn't get one. it. I ended up, Col- I ended up on Jacksonville here. Colts, I didn't bet this game at all. Colts took money. Colts took money in the second half. Uh, look ahead was like five and a half last week. That got bet. It reopens. That got bet. And, you know, Indy lost the turnover battle really badly and never had a shot. There was another one where the Jags weren't great on offense. It's been just week after week, even when they win games. It's like I did yeah. not come on, I did not come away impressed with the Jacksonville Jaguars offense. I won but money on this game because I had good Jags. On short fields. I had Jags a bunch of ways, but I did play the under here. And this was one of two games today that went over. <laughs> so that's how I'm seeing the board when it comes to totals. Minshew was pretty damn good in garbage time. Um Oh yeah, he was done. tremendous in garbage time. But that's yeah, you know, okay. Congratulations to Minshew for that. Oh no, um, yeah, he he looked. It was a turnover. So it was like Jags, four to one. Jags are uh, Jags are in what I like to think of as cruise control for the AFC South, which is making me very, very, very happy. I hope they do not uh, do anything to upset things. Uh, they have a tough ask though. Short week for them. They got to play on Thursday. Now. What a gnarly, like, the. this is the other side of the coin of the getting two weeks in London and the advantage against the Bills is that now they have uh, a week at home against the Colts and then a short week on Thursday against the Saints. So Trevor kind of Trevor gnarly. got racked up late. Um, yeah, what did you see there? Around. So he was hobbling around, but if you go look at his presser, and apparently there's a report from the locker room too that said he was walking just fine in the locker room. Okay. He walked up to the podium, looked just fine, no limp. He was just kind of it was one of those soccer injuries. Mm. It just hurts really bad for a little okay. bit of time, and then it's fine, I guess. Thank so, you for but, saying but that. But short week, it's still like if that wakes up, if we wake up and that's swollen, 
that leg, that ankle. In today's it NFL, is, is Andy, a very short. I kill, I, today's NFL, a, a quarterback of Trevor Lawrence's caliber calls his own number. If he wants to play, he's he playing. If he wants to Deshaun Watson, he'll he'll skip. Um, the um, the other over the hit was Carolina Miami. Why we haven't just been betting Miami over and go to bed? I don't know. Um, I did the three Miami times during the game. <laughs> did you? Oh, good I needed the, you. I needed the pick I got six some, for I got some live winners in this one as well, but on the Miami I... Dolphins, because uh, you know what? Uh, if there's a team that can spot an opponent 14 points and still win and still cover, it's the Miami Dolphins right now <laughs> against the Carolina Panthers. They looked very, they looked very sleepy to start the game. Yeah, and... but kind of like they just didn't really have to try. Did you know right. that after Carolina had their second touchdown, they would not reach the red zone the rest of the day? Wow. So they yeah. stepped it up all around. Um, yeah, that obviously not the ideal start, but it's always it's kind of like what you said about the Niners. Good to get that loss out of the way. It's good to get that shitty game state one where you're yeah. like, all right, we can come back. Yeah, we I got this. It was, a, it was a bad. Oh, we're team. down two touchdowns? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I had bet some 49 and a half to the over. And then Hector um, s- said he was blasting like 52 and a half. I'm like, well, maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll do some more. I'm like, but it, cause I, he's a good live better. I'm like, I'll take some more of this. So double tap that. And uh, the pick six, I think I needed that pick six to get at all the, all the high totals over on that mm, one. But that makes sense. Got a little, got a little squirrely in the second half. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of notes. It's just like good team, bad team. Do we do enough here to be co-favorite for MVP with Mahomes in your opinion? Yeah. Um, okay. Obviously, Josh. What do you think about? Jaylen, what do you think? Of real, lot. real, like look, look into the future for me and tell me to a a real threat to win MVP. I'd have to look at some schedules, but man, if he has weeks like this where he's forced to, you know, it, I think a big part of two MVP comes down to the defense. If the defense gives up points and makes him stay late in the games and play in track meets, and he just racks up like 50 touchdowns, yeah, super live. Mike White oh, through the my pick God. six. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> the the Discord. The Discord called this. Hardy, first touchdown. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This was like they six got hours ago. Yeah. Wow. That's off of fucking grid. Off the... I, I'm not even going to open the Discord. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be flying right now. Deontay Hardy? Somebody really played him first touchdown? I think I think it was Sam Lipscomb. I think it was Sam, Sam. Lipscomb. Great job, Sam. He called this out earlier in the day. I had... Sam continues to provide plus EV everything in the Discord. You're the man. Um, let's move on to the afternoon games where Detroit handled Tampa in an ugly one that I watched literally zero minutes of i played detroit and i didn't watch this game <laughs> I, do you do, do you have any thoughtful commentary or is detroit Baker. just a team that beats bad teams now yeah detroit, detroit's a good team like detroit is just a good team now uh the montgomery injury sucked but golf was good enough to kind of overcome that and tampa just did not finish drives uh detroit was zero and two in the red zone ended up still winning um having you know, Amon Ross, St. Brown is obviously pretty massive. How'd the creamsicles look? The, the, the elite, like, <laughs> like it was such a good, such a good Jersey game, but it was such a bad game overall. And and just uh, I don't know. Tam- Tampa does not look threatening right now. This was off a of buy. This was at home. This was a spot where you're supposed to be looking good. And Baker, two for twelve and third down. They blitz too much, like. Uh, it's another team where you probably shouldn't blitz golf because if you don't no, get home, you, no, you, you should have, treat it, you should be treating them like the Rams. You have St. Brown on an island with somebody that's not great. No, the no, port is very good. Like it just yeah, it was, it was, it wasn't a great game honestly. Like it wasn't a good one to watch, guys. Uh, you want to talk about another game game that wasn't great? Uh, this was a head injury waiting to happen. The New England Patriots lose seventeen to twenty one to the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders cover all the numbers. Uh, New England does not does not make their team total. Importantly, <laughs> two weeks in a row, secret team total under. Although under I, we can't. I don't think there was any subterfuge, which was which would have been funner. 
right? If they'd gotten shut out, we could have had a fun five minutes of amping about this Belichick. He looks kind of bad for big swaths of the game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, if both you had looked bad. Uh, and Jimmy G gone for a while, I guess it's a back. He's having a back, back, a backyotomy. Backyotomy, I believe. But he left it in an ambulance, like we said. I was really kind of worried that uh, Patriots over. We no, 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 Walker. Patriots under. We don't bet Patriots over. <laughs> no, no, I took the over. Or excuse me. I no, took the no, under. No. This total did get bet up a little too. So I did take this under. This under forty one and a half. Nice work. Obviously got sweaty, and when Mac went down in the end zone, I was like. I'm a fatalist, I guess. <laughs> 90, 95% sure I saw the ball come out. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's a touchdown. But yeah, um, probably yeah, got a little lucky with uh, the Raiders not scoring more. They haven't been great, though, offensively. Mm-hmm. Like those those red zone, you know, those red zone stops, it's a good defense still. They're missing some pieces. It's still not a bad defense. It's just a mm-hmm. gross game, though. Hmm. Well, as we Mac move is, down the Mac board, <clears throat> the LA Rams, Andy, <clears throat> had a full week of rest and recovery. Oh, you made beautiful, this, didn't you? In the beautiful city of Los Angeles. And you know what that got us? That got us an absolutely ice clean second half from the LA Rams. Finally, the Rams look clean and good and crisp in the second half. And with that comes a never in doubt cover. Uh, you know what they did, Drew? What's that? They started running the ball. Yeah, they ran the wild. they ran the ball well. well Kevin Williams they bar- was awesome. They barely ran in the first half. It was they it, didn't it even attempt great. runs. Yeah, it was they barely even attempted runs. Yeah, it was super weird that like that was the halftime adjustment, and I kind of want to go back and like just watch the first half to see if there was something that like McVay saw, and maybe McVay still you know, preoccupied by the fact that he's about to have a child. But if there was something they saw and said, like, we need more, what's the answer to this? We need more Kyron Williams. And that was the answer. He was great. And that's kind of what got those, you know, that's kind of what got that offense moving. And Arizona wasn't good, obviously, in this game. No, they were terrible. It was, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, Rams deserved this cover every which way. Uh, and very happy that it got there because that was my biggest bet of the week. Yeah. Cardinals uh, getting yeah. two fourth down conversions like helped, but I mean they're zero for three in the red zone. They lost the turnover battle. Just it's mm. not a good team. No, it's not good. Um, all right, uh, final game of the uh, that is in the books is Philadelphia losing to the Jets. Uh, the Jets are three and three. Mm. Are they a factor for the AFC, Andy? They played the toughest part of their schedule. They kind of the are, right? That son, guys. Tinfoil hat, son. Aaron Rodgers shouldn't be walking around. Like, I know this guy is a professional bullshit artist at this point. I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth, but he shouldn't be walking around throwing balls yet. He should be on crutches. So maybe this whole crazy dolphin sex sounds magic thing that he is going to do, like, maybe he is just secretly going to come back early. So if this team can sneak into the playoffs, I think they lose the first game with Rodgers because they have no uh, chemistry with him at all, and it it gets looked at as a mistake. Should they have benched <laughs> Zach Wilson for the playoffs? Oh, yeah. But no, I, the I idea know. of them being on the precipice and him coming back into the fold to keep them out of the mix, I, will, I am that, here that for that. that. I am here for that. Um, Front right. row seats, popcorn. Front row seat for that. Nets. Yep, here for that. Uh, I don't – I mean, I don't have any other thoughts on this game other than, I guess, like – Wow. Is this true? I kind of want to read up on this now. If, if he had a different surgery than oh, yeah? people normally have. A witch conducted it? <laughs> Is that how? Oh, I mean, I, it, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him to be like, I'm going to get an experimental kind of surgery that might get me back faster and also might end my career. Yeah. We're sure it's an Achilles show time. We all saw it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we yeah. saw it a lot. One of those pops. It's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, so, oh, he's dating a warlock because he's always been rumored to be secretly into warlocks. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about those rumors. That. Remember, the, remember um, when he dated Danica Patrick? He's yes, weird. I do remember that. He is weird. Just a weird, weird dude. Anyway, uh, the 
you know when we were talking about the um the Niners loss and I was like good to get the loss out of the way <clears throat> and it's a road team and it's out of conference it's like the least consequential loss you can have well that applies to this uh Eagles game as well right like yeah, road loss jets. out of conference. Like this is about as good of you could hope for. That said, this was not a good loss for the Eagles in a lot of ways because their schedule is about to get. It's about to get way harder. Fucked. It's about to get and, mega fucked. And a lot of this loss was on Hertz kind of looking bad at times. Yeah. And if that's going to be a thing, you're not going to be a. You might not. I mean, Dude, you might lose. Hertz, a, if Hurts just if Hertz just chilled and flexed in this game and was awesome, he's like in the MVP front runner conversation today. But no, he was specifically responsible for their loss. It period. This was on Hertz. Like, yeah, there were some missing pieces. Uh, you know, Jalen Carter missing surprise is not great. Slay missing surprise is not great. Uh, you know, with Lane Johnson going out in the game, not great. But like, not great. The like the the next eight weeks for the Eagles are as hard as anyone has all season, and they now have to figure it out off of a loss, which does not help them. So I think mm. I felt pretty strongly that the winner of the NFC East was gonna be your three seed. I feel very strongly right now. Yeah, Lions two seed march to the sea, baby. Yeah. Lions are technically tied for the one seed. The one seed, yeah. Yeah, um, ex- my big takeaway was the Jets' run defense looked very good, and <laughs> like that—that's yeah. a thing. Like that's always they are—they are very good. They are very good. They didn't look good. But they I are mean, good. Yeah, that that was you know that was such a big part of what the Eagles' success has been so far this season is like not only do they run the ball effectively, but then they do it in the second half with the lead. If you're not able to do that. It puts you in some weird downs and distances. You get some bad decisions by Hertz, and it, it compounds. And then even even with the missing, you know, the fact you're missing two corners, and who's still just not able to take advantage of that with two very good wide receivers and a good tight end. Uh, it felt like stopping them from running. You know, we joke about the, oh they cracked the blueprint, but like, man, maybe if you can stop the Eagles from running and force Hertz to do it. Uh, it didn't look great. It didn't look no. great at times. So maybe everyone should just have as good as a, a good defense like New York does. And that's how you have great teams. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see uh, uh, KJ Hogo's tweet? You know, Kevin? Yes. Did you see the one in the discord? Yeah. I had to screenshot it because he has a locked Twitter account now, but he's like, um, the, the, the Purdy one. Yes. Uh, this Purdy Lin, Lin Sanity mm. run is over. <laughs> the Lin Sanity callback. Sanity. Lin Sanity is a good callback. That was yeah. such a weird thing. He was so good for a little bit. He's so good. Yeah. Impossibly like, good for a like, tiny Oh my God, this bit. guy's like a top 20 player, like now. Yeah. Um, um, I do got to, I do got to pay the bills. Yeah. Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster. If you want to get your tickets, there's baseball, there's football. You know what? More memories are made when you're there for live NFL action. Ticketmaster has you covered. It is the official marketplace of the NFL, and it has more ways to find your perfect seat. You go cheer for your team. gives you the flexibility to sell or transfer your tickets, plus mobile tickets. Make getting in on game day a breeze. You can even customize it. To rep your team colors, Ticketmaster.com slash NFL. Let's look at week seven. Man, the Eagles losing that game was insane. Looking at the box score a little bit more closely now. The 4-0 turnover differential was everything. And really, that late turnover was so that was, huge. That was a big part of it. So huge. All right. Um, week seven is a short week because we have six teams on by. Did you know that, Andy? Yeah, only two this week. So Pittsburgh and Green Bay coming off by, but yeah, next week it is basically everybody. Half Green Bay, week. Green Bay comes off of by, goes on the road to Denver. Pittsburgh comes off by and goes on the road at the LA Rams. Yeah. Ooh, there's a Rick and, and Morty coming in. Um, like we already mentioned, short week for Jacksonville. 
hopefully Trevor's okay for that one heading to New Orleans. So that would be double bad to play a road game if your quarterback is not feeling 100% on a short week with a coaching staff that we're not super sold on yet. Um, San Francisco gets the benefit of playing an extra, has an extra day. San Francisco, Minnesota is Monday night. That is like a touchdown road favorite there again. And then Miami, Philly. Uh, I hope Jalen Hurts gets it right. I don't want to see him play like that because that was a Sunday night football I've been looking forward to. I really want to see that uh, be a good game, and that is in Philadelphia. Miami will head up there. This was, I guess, a good a good bellwether game for Miami as well. Like if they can go on the road and the offense looks good, if we have a full contingent on the you know Philly defense, obviously they're missing some pieces today, and that apparently mattered. Yeah, I lean under there. I think that gets bet down to like 51, 50 and a half. <laughs> That's not a train I'd love to get in front of, but you know. <laughs> I literally said, I think five minutes ago or thereabouts, I swear we just blind betting Miami over and call yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I, was, I wasn't going to bring it up. <laughs> um, I like that under. It looks a little high. Uh, no, I, I don't. I probably, I, I am, I'm, I'm going to spend all week desperately trying to find a way into this Philly Miami game and maybe not have any action and it's going to suck. Um, and honestly, looking up and down the board right now, I don't know how I'm coming up with five uh, contest picks. <laughs> Fuck, these games are close. Ravens is a dog. Or excuse me, Lions is a dog is interesting. Lions is not, really, really interesting. Lions is really, really interesting. To that, I get, like weather weather is going to... Yeah, we got to get a read on weather. But yeah, Lions should have beat Baltimore last time they played. And remember that game? Yeah, let me look at what I have for that price. So again, not updated, but yeah, I don't quite have it. That is a two and a half. I would probably, I'm probably going to wait for the money lines to come out around, and I might be having to go against one of my favorite teams here this week. I'll probably play some Lions money line if the weather looks good, if the injury report looks good. Um, obviously, that was a big part of why I played the Ravens this week. The injury report was coming up roses for them. Cardinals Seahawks, nine point dogs heading to another divisional foe. I don't know what to make of the Seahawks, but they moved the ball a bunch today. I bet they close. God. Does it make sense to you that the number is bigger than it was against the Rams? Seahawks better than the Rams? I have them close. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. Let me look where I have them compared to each other. Oh, that might be a hold the nose to take the Cardinals. Yuck. I really don't want to back the Cardinals. I have Seattle like a half point better than the Rams. I'm a little better on the Rams, but mostly just because I think I, I mean, have... they're both they're both kind of right hovering around zero. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Lions. I have are Seattle. A I have Seattle like, like tick below and I have LA a tick above. Yeah, I'm flip flopped on that. Okay. Um. I think probably because Seattle's healthier now. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a lot of points, but I can't make a, a real good case for taking Arizona. If that would be like an Arizona first half. Um, again, the total, I wonder where that'll go, but anyone who saw Arizona try to finish drives, they can't be excited about betting an over. No, no. Without the Connor, they're a little one-dimensional. It is it is something. I wonder if there's a, a look at their team total under once we get to Wednesday. Pittsburgh off the bye. Yeah, you know what? Under 46 and a half is going to get bet. Getting three it should and a half. get bet. I don't know if it will, but it should. That's under. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. I want to watch that one. Yeah. Pittsburgh getting three and a half to LA. Total 42 and a half. Pittsburgh doesn't have an offense, though. So that's an issue. <laughs> like they, It's not like their offense is bad. They don't uh, have an offense at times. Uh, what did you think of Cooper Cup and company today? He looked pretty damn good. That's leaning towards so that at Chris right now it's plus three and a half minus one thirteen. Yeah, that's that's going. That's no, no. People, no. I think that. People, goes. Yeah, people are going to push this to three. I would take the Rams at three there. At I would home. take the Rams if it gets back to three. I don't think it's going. Yeah, no, that's what I'm, well. It's leaning that way. It's getting it's getting closer. 
Um, if it does go to three, I would take the Rams. The only point I will make about that is it's not a real good home field advantage. Not only is no, it there'll the Rams, be more Pittsburgh's but, fans than Rams fans. Yeah, they they travel so well. Every time you see them in Las Vegas or in SoFi, there's more terrible towels than fucking anything. It's wild. So yeah, I, I will also blower. say that in general, I have less of an appetite to back Rams when they're up against a D line that can create pressure and TJ Watt could be a factor. Okay. I'm trying to look Probably if they had any injuries. This is gonna, if this is going to who, which, which team? I'm just looking at the injuries I wrote down for the Rams. No Rams were Rams. Rams had a clean day today, and in fact, probably get no <laughs> boom. They probably get no boom back. Yeah, no boom mixed missed his second game, but he'll probably be back. Um, Bobby Bobby Brown's done for a while, I think. Yeah. Kyron Williams did tweak his ankle late, but I guess that was no big deal. Uh, the other the other running back got hurt bad, but he's no Kyron Williams. No. Uh, what do you think happens with Deshaun Watson? In the short term and in the long term, and what do you think happens with this market against? Well, I don't. I mean, they already had the civil trials, or I, mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know if there's been some sort of settlement. Uh, are you do you think like getting healthy? Yeah, I'm talking about getting healthy. Like, is he that desperate for a massage that he just he can't get his throwing arm right without it? I don't. It sounds like it's a weird entry that. Honestly, like if, if everything we're reading about this is true, this could be like a month of, of missing him yet. Like where it's just not something that gets better quick and it definitely would affect the motion of throwing. Like if this inside this joint injury or whatever doesn't heal, like he just can't throw the ball well. And so how do you feel about PJ Walker? How does PJ Walker feel about being a road road chalk? Boy, again, the defense the defense better be good. Yeah, no no interest in that mm-hmm. game because mm-hmm. the the shithousery and the absolute skullduggery around quarterbacks oh, the and the starting. Housery. Yeah, Max, it's, it's Max Housery. Good. Yeah, Max, Max Housery. housery. Uh, yeah. Did we talk Bucks, Falcons, Bucks? That one's under 40. Tampa is the <clears throat> two and a half point home favorite, tilting towards three. Tampa. Right. Falcons versus a team that's as good as them or better that has a defense. Because this, it, like you said, it was a bad idea for them to blitz, but it's probably not a bad idea for you to blitz Atlanta. No, oh, yeah. Go go right ahead. Like, go bananas have with it. that. You're, you're going to probably yeah. cause some turnovers. You're going to see go, some go bad get him. in there. Go, go get him. Yeah. Lean, yeah. lean Tampa, lean under. Ooh, favorite under is never fun. <laughs> Yikes. I'm not betting uh, under 39 and a half in that one. Dude, can you imagine making any bet on Vegas, Chicago, knowing, not knowing who your quarterback is? No, yeah, that, that's another one. Just like leave AOC that alone. AOC versus Badgley. What was the guy's name? Badgent. Badgent? Badgent. I don't know if I'm enunciating it right. I had the sound off. Badgent. Tyson Badgent. Is it Badgent or Bege? I'm, Bege-ent I'm going to give, give it a soft Bagent. Bagent. <laughs> it's like that, Bilbo is like a Bilbo Baggin situation. Yeah. Tyson uh, Baggin. All right. That pageant rhymes with pageant. Okay. Pageant. Hoyer the Destroyer versus Badgett the Pageant. Oh, okay. Don't Interesting. Love it. Um, All right. Skipper Rooney. God, dude, we got nothing to bet that. this week. Fuck. Well, what about, what about ah. Green Bay Denver? I want an opinion on Green Bay Denver total. Uh, At what's the number? 42? 45 feels a little high. It's big. It's and too big. I've been it's clicking, clicking Under. and looking at it, Under. waiting for that to move down, and it's just sitting there at 45. Under. So Denver's defense isn't very good, but Green Bay, even off a of bye, their offense... Well, I, Green Bay is off some... a of bye, but Denver's off a of mini buy. Who I want has to the some... advantage? Yeah, they do, get the, they do get the extra rest off Thursday. I want... To hear some Aaron Jones news before I get too wild with this, but hard <laughs> lean to under forty five. If Aaron Jones he, is if, if Aaron Jones is going, then Green Bay is very much the right side under three. Actually, I did. It is French food snob, but somebody just told me so. We <laughs> Begent. 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 Yeah. Um, can, you, can you use it in a sentence? 
<laughs> country of origin. <laughs> um, yeah, hard lean to that under. Uh, I like it yeah. less with Jonesin. I think right. Jones probably played. Let's wrap that. up the pod with a little talk on money in the football. I bet the Chargers. You want to you, you wanna rebut? I did too. Straight you bet up the Chargers one, too? Plus okay. 117 this okay. morning when the, uh, the number has come down a little off that. They've okay. taken a little bit of steam. I don't okay. have a strong take on this total. I think it's probably a titch high. Um, that said, the Dallas defense is not as impressive without uh, you know some of the pieces they've lost. Diggs and who's who's the linebacker? LVE. Is LVE. Like these are pieces that make you move other guys around into spots they are not comfortable in. And the two touchdowns for the. The Bills have been thrown to just strange people. Morris got this one. Uh, are we uh, going to sweat this total at all? I guess we got to oh, sweat it. Oh, for sure we're sweating it now. Pick we got 348. We can, so we can, we can withstand. Have, we haven't even come close to doing one of these. And we actually kept this freaking tight. Well done by us. Yeah, we're we at an hour tight. five. Uh, we haven't come close to getting through a game. <laughs> <laughs> with the, our recaps, and this is going to get there. Uh, weird. As long as this first half took, the second half is humming. Yeah. So Buffalo scored, um, assuming they just kick it, which they did. We can withstand a field goal, but there's no chance. Well, never say never <laughs> to, to some of these NFL coaches. No, nah, Dave is going to go for it. <clears throat> so that was a Giants little bit of a fluky touchdown. Three timeouts. I know, but the time they did take a lot of time. We need a, we need like a six and out. That needs to be a saying. A six and out. Six and, and out. No, you know, you know, what we need. We need a ten and out. A ten and out. A ten and out is a two minute one is a three is a three converted a three converted and then a fourth down not converted oh, at around like midfield. 50. And they yeah, used a timeout yeah. in there because they they also screwed up some of the timing. That's right. That's right. Oh, that would be good. I don't feel like that's asking for too much, is it? Um, I think we're still in good position. We, we kind of got off. Live, what's the live total? Live sure, total we got off be topic. Um, yeah. Expound on your Chargers position, other than they're in a good spot versus a defense. When they have a defense that's you know has some weak spots, even without yeah. Williams, they can beat it. And yeah. Eckler back matters a ton. Yeah, best uh, best quarterback that the uh, Cowboys have faced this year by a fuck ton if purdy did that to you last week good luck against herbert that's all i got live totals locked at chris bodog bovada has 23 and a half plus 160 which translates to one more score well, uh, anything <laughs> any score any more score. any score <clears throat> any more score god you could take that and then cash it on a safety yeah <laughs> or the yeah. or the uh the uh what do you call Strapping it the, um, like a rock it's down to 140 you know what else you could uh also if it's uh the uh pitchy pitchy woo woo to end the game if it goes for a touchdown we're good right no that gets you to oh, no, six points takes us over yeah yeah we can't have a touchdown no touchdown is no bueno okay no bueno no bueno all right, all right. All right. Well, I right. hope you guys, uh, if you have anything we missed, any injuries we missed, any news, anything to add, obviously. I'm sure there's Twitter. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's just 40 Dude. minutes of ripping through it. We're on Twitter. We're on Dude. the Discord. You can leave a note in the YouTube comments. We Dude, appreciate week, all you. Week Please seven, hit the thumbs up, man. Week, week seven looks like hell. This I'm not going to have like a ton hell. of bets. No. I have no idea how I'm making picks and contests. Just happy Survivor. Survivor was a bad week. Um, I guess it was the Buffalo week. I'm not in Survivor anymore, guys. <laughs> it's, been, it's been quite a while. <laughs> been out for like four weeks. Such as <laughs> such as life. Um, my last note is: do not return kickoffs, guys. No. Just take the it's take quite the three stupid. yards. Take the three yards. Stupid. If it were the twenty, I think it'd be plus EV to run some of these back. But the twenty-five. Like, quite stupid. It's just you don't have to get hit then either. Um, God, what was it? What game was that? That uh, 
Was that the London game where the guy caught the punt before halftime and muffed it? Yes, that was. And there was the no reason. Yes. Like there was no reason. No reason to have him there back there. Like, he yes. should have been. He should have been up rushing. Yeah, Andy, uh, I have an advanced analytical framework that evaluates uh, the points conceded per play. I graded that yeah. point that play as a minus three EPA per play. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. that cost they're, the titans three points exactly <laughs> they're just, they're just three damn point lucky. zero they're damn lucky there wasn't like 15 more seconds on the clock because yeah they would have gone for a touchdown shot yeah I, sure. that was the funniest thing is when he sat down and d hop just got up and walked away just ice cold man so yeah. all right let's cheer for the giants to take a little time and screw this up do a little and... nothing do a little nothing. We'll catch you guys <laughs> tomorrow for half, half, half time of the Chargers route. I'll probably. You can play the music. Different probably, different. probably going to hit that as a teaser with something for next week, too. Like, I want to maximize my pain when I'm playing a Chargers game. Because those are always have the most cool